Hey everybody, it's Miranda Evans, your favorite unfiltered motivator, and we are here with episode three of Motivation with Me. And today we're going to discuss self-care. May is our All About Self Month, and we're going to end it off talking about self-care and the importance of self-care. We have a guest on our show today. It's going to be Marie Crawford of Session Boutique, and she is going to help us discuss some self-care tips, what does self-care mean to her, and she is also a fashion stylist. She's my personal stylist, and she is phenomenal. I love her. She's an amazing spirit, and she has some really good advice on self-care. Self-care is important, and I think as women and men and entrepreneurs, and students and just all around just everybody in general we don't take care of ourselves we put everything and everybody before ourselves motherhood fatherhood babies work side hustles loved ones boyfriend girlfriends husbands wives everything comes before us and we find ourselves short and unhealthy mentally tired emotionally tired physically tired and it's just unhealthy. We are no good to anybody else if we are not okay and we're not taking care of ourselves. And I'm saying this from experience because I am the pot calling the kettle black right now. I am really bad with taking care of myself, but I have learned what happens when you don't. Um, last October, I had a mental and physical breakdown because I was running and running and running and running and running on empty and I just couldn't take it anymore. I found myself crying on the bathroom floor, screaming, God, why I can't do this? I give up. I'm so tired. And, you know, when I tell people I'm tired, it's not I'm sleepy or I'm physically tired or it's I'm tired, period. Okay. Uh, <laughs> mentally emotionally, physically, just psychologically, just I'm tired. That's usually what people mean when they say I'm tired. And that can take a toll on you. You can't get anything accomplished if you don't take care of yourself. So after my breakdown and after I had to step down as president of my own organization, the Trouble Movement Inc., and our information is also below in case you want to check us out. Once I stepped down as president, I knew that I was not okay because I love TTM. I love my baby. And it took a lot out of me to give that role to Christian Simmons, who is my vice president, and to my team. And I just had to trust that they were going to handle it. I believe in them. I love my team. But I got to a point where I called my vice president in tears and I was just like, I can't do this anymore. I need a break. So I took a three month sabbatical from October to December 2018. And I just had to get myself together. I was very spiritually unaligned. I was mentally unstable. I was physically physically tired. I was sick. I had made myself physically sick. My health wasn't right. I wasn't eating right. It was just, it was a lot going on because I had put so much pressure on myself. I was trying to do too many things at once. I was trying to please everybody and do everything, running TTM, running elements of me, keeping up with my kids. Like it was, it was just a lot and I, I couldn't take it anymore. So had I practiced self-care before that and took breaks and times to rest and time to myself, you know, massages and things that I'm going to give other tips that are um, good for self-care, um, my version of self-care was going to get my nails done. Like, kid you not, usually y'all know my nails are always on fleek because that is how I practice self-care. I faithfully go get my nails done. I don't really do my hair often. As you can see, I'm a scarf person. Um, but nails to me is like therapy. I do see a therapist and a psychiatrist. So I do have those times of self-care and I practice other things that are healthy to the body like massages, float therapy, float therapy, infrared sauna therapy is another good one. I'll give more details later at the end of the video on places you should try, things that you should try, tips on how you can just take a moment to yourself and just breathe and make sure that you are okay. So we're going to have our guest, Marie Crawford, but before that, you know, I always give a book recommendation. So my book for this video is called Unrushed. It's a devotional by Allie Vasquez, who is the daughter of one of my phenomenal co-workers. And I want to read 
to you. This is a phenomenal devotional. I'm going to put her information at the bottom so you guys can check this out. But day 65 says prioritize. That's the title of day 65. And it says you must fill yourself up. If you don't take care of you, how will you be able to pour into others? Long to pour this passion, vibrant, positive stream of flowing greatness into others without end. So, t so take the time to make the time to make sure your cup is full. How? How with the crazy agendas and over, over full schedules can we make time to pour into ourselves? Make it non-optional. Therefore, it needs to become priority. Two things that will surely get you feeling full if you practice consistently are get in the word and dig into a personal growth book, podcast, article, etc. If you commit to do this every day for 60 days, you will watch your heart transform. Move your body. Take care of the house he gave you to live in. Getting those endorphins flowing and going is so good for you. Being physically fit, healthy, and strong will allow you to live life to the fullest. You will pray better, praise better, be a better parent, grandparent, friend, coworker, boss, leader, the list goes on. You will feel prepared for anything thrown your way. And that is day 65, and it's called Prioritize. And she talks about self-care a lot in this book. She's talking. She talks about... <clears throat> self-confidence and how we shouldn't be jealous of other people. There are so many topics that Allie discusses in this book. I love, this is by far my favorite devotional, by far, because it's really realistic. It's not cliche. It's simple. She provides, she provides a reflection page. She gives you activities to do that are like short, simple activities. She challenges you, which you know I love a good challenge, and some homework. So the homework for today is going to be write down something you can do to take care of yourself i want you to dedicate for one i'm she gave you 60 days i'm gonna give you seven days i want seven days of listening to self-care podcasts listening to of course motivation with me this phenomenal channel reading articles on self-care studying different methods of self-care like i said flow therapy cryotherapy infrared sauna therapy massages there's you know regular therapy going for walks standing and just watching nature sitting outside going to the park and just kind of being at peace to yourself meditation yoga there are so many ways that you can practice self-care and just get your body and your spiritual and everything aligned so that is your homework for this week i want you to spend seven days practicing some type of self-care it takes five minutes to stretch it takes five minutes to pray and meditate it doesn't have to be long just promise me for seven days straight you're going to do something to take care of yourself okay that is your homework let me know how you feel drop it down in the comments give me your opinions on it how it made you feel if it helped things like that so as i said we're going to have a guest today and her name is marie crawford and she is the owner of session boutique and she is a phenomenal person. She is a stylist, my personal stylist. She is a creator of all things fashion. She is positive. She is just slay. She just all slay. Like, she came to slay. So let's give a round of applause for Marie Crawford. Hey everybody, we are here with Marie Crawford of Session Boutique. She is the owner of her own boutique, and as I stated earlier, she is my personal stylist and stylist of many. So we are here to discuss self-care. I chose Marie to talk about self-care because she is very adamant about self-care, and she's a stylist, which goes a lot into our self-love and our self-care, and she's just a positive influence Everything she says is just bright and beautiful. So she is our first guest on Motivation <laughs> With Me. And she is going to tell us a little bit about what self-care means to her. Yes. So let's talk about you. Tell okay. us a little bit about you. Well, hi, everyone. My name is Marie Crawford, a session boutique where class is always, always in, in session. You have to make sure you say that because yes. class is always in session, guys. Yes. That is something I believe in because you don't have to be like the world tells you to be. Yeah. You can still, you know, kill it with class, as I like to say, right? Mm -hmm. You can still close million-dollar deals 
fully clothed. So I love yes. to say that as well. But I'm She's excited saying. to be here with my lovely friend looking fabulous in her session boutique. Yes. Lucky Charm lucky jumpsuit. Charm. This is Because we all know what luck do. Hey. Yay. <laughs> I love it. Y'all look so comfortable and oh. And she looks gorgeous. And if you, know. if you guys seen my gala outfit, that whole ensemble was all of her work. Girl, let me tell you okay. something. She so, looked like a goddess. So. That's you. You did all that. Everybody was like, where'd you get your outfit from? My stylist, Marie. Yeah. I didn't do anything. She just did it all. Well, you are naturally beautiful inside and out. So <laughs> the clothes really just her. exude what are, is already inside of her. <laughs> So I'm not going to take credit for that. I just helped bring out the beauty that was already Stop inside. It. So that's what we do at Session Boutique. So yes. if you're looking for a personal stylist, let me know. Okay. okay. Hit me up. Info at session, shop sessionboutique.com and we'll make sure we get you taken care of. So, All righty. So a little bit about me. Right? Is yes. That what we're doing? Yes. Okay. A little bit about I know you're so awesome and a lot. But you're so silly. <laughs> So let me tell you how much I love her. I love her so much because, not only because what she does, like in the community and how she shares her love and light with everyone, but just because she is genuinely authentic in what she does and how she does it. And you don't see that a lot these days. No. And so I just want to make sure that I set the tone and show my appreciation for you. Thank you. Because you are strong, you are beautiful, you are an amazing woman. And this is just not for, for here. This yeah. is just something I just really want the world to know who, who you are dealing with oh, when yeah. it comes to this because she um, she is inspirational to me. She's overcome a lot and she helps others to overcome in their journey. And to me, that's why it was important that I showed up today. Well, thank you for showing up. Yes, you got stalker, you to come. I had to show up for my friend. I just got back from out of town, and I wanted to make sure. That and how up. was your vacation? So the vacation was phenomenal. Let me tell y'all something. Ooh. So I know the topic is self-love, self-care. Mm -hmm. And I want to make sure that I share with you all that how important it is to disconnect. Mm. And so I went to Biloxi, Mississippi. Mm. I just returned uh, recently, yesterday, late yesterday. And I had the opportunity to um, sit by the water oh, and God. just relax, relate, receive. Mm. Because normally, right, we hear what? Relax, relate, release. release. I'm not, everything that I do, I release back unto right? Mm -hmm. So when I'm praying, I release back unto, so that way I'm not holding that baggage on me. Yeah. I am in a season of receiving. Mm -hmm. And so in order to receive, you have to put your place in position. Yeah. You have to yeah. put your body in position to receive. And so that's why it's important to release everything that what was and step into what is to receive. Yes, so that was like my hashtag, relax, relate, receive, because Sometimes uh, we have to put in our mindset that um, we are an open vessel. Yeah. And in order to uh, for God to speak to us the clearest, mm -hmm. in order for us to hear him the loudest, is that we have to be open to receive. Yes. And so that's what I did. That was my self-love. That was my time to disconnect. Mm -hmm. And also, as I was receiving... I uh, was exchanging energy with family and friends that I haven't seen in so long. Wow. Like, it's been years. Like, I have not seen my dad in seven years. Now, I've talked to him. We're Facebook friends. And this what? is, and I know we're going to get into this, but this is the importance behind that touch. Mm. And so many times, and I'm just going to be transparent, that so many times we allow life to take away the personal touch that we, we really need as humans. Yeah. We need that personal touch. We yeah. need that 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 uh, connection, and so I'm not a fan of saying, or you know, like, you know, I'm, I'm not a fan of celebrating that I have not seen my dad in seven years. Mm -hmm. Even though I've talked to him on social media, we text every day, we talk on the phone, but a lot can happen. And time is on no one's side. Yes. And so it really made me stop, pause, and yeah. think about what was most important, yeah. which is the connection, right? Yeah. Um, it's the knowing. It's the understanding. 
it's the love. And when I saw my dad, I broke out in tears. I bet. I did. <laughs> I bet. I, I'm sure you did. I did. And it was tears of new beginnings. Yeah. I didn't beat myself up for not seeing him. I didn't do any of those things. Mm -hmm. I chose better words <laughs> on how I dealt with it. And I just said from that day forward, I was going to make sure I did better by by my family and by my dad. So Yeah. So so how would you relate self-care to fashion and styling and just presenting yourself? I know you do styling yes. and usually yes. when she does my styling, she <laughs> she wants. So I wanted to wear this outfit to an event and she was like, no, no, you're not wearing that. We're going to wear something else. Yes. So <laughs> she is a phenomenal stylist. And I the yeah. thing that I like is she matches her styles to the person's personality, yes. where they're going, yes. what is the environment going to be like? Yeah. Not just, okay, let's go shopping and find you something. No, she, from head to toe, has to have the whole masterpiece together. Absolutely. So how would you relate styling and slaying mm -hmm. to fashion, self-care? How does that all go into one for you? Well, let's start here. So I, I'm glad that you asked that question, for mm -hmm. one, because what... What we've heard is what? When you look good, you what? Feel good. Right? Mm -hmm. So let's dig deeper. Mm -hmm. Right? When you feel good, you look good. Mm. That's my motto. Mm. It's an inside job thing. Yeah. Right? Because clothes is just an accessory. Mm -hmm. It's an accessory. Um, what we focus on at, at Session Boutique is the inner, the inner beauty yeah. to bring out. So that way the outer just illuminates what's already inside. Mm, girl, you be, wait a minute. But that's but that's the work. That's the work. Because what we've grown accustomed to is what the world says. When you look good, you what? You feel, feel good. good. Yep. But no, that's just a mask. A, I was so just talking about it's that. just a mask. And so what we do at Session Boutique and why we're so passionate behind why I let's make it personal. Yeah. Why I am so passionate behind Session Boutique. It's because I was that girl who looked in the mirror and didn't like what she saw. Mm. And it's, it wasn't that um, the outer beauty wasn't being recognized. Um, it was because the inner beauty didn't recognize the outer beauty. Right. Because I didn't feel like I was beautiful. Mm. No matter how many times people saw the outer and said, yeah. oh, you're this and that. And so what we do at Session Boutique is we help. We help you from a different standing point mm -hmm. because it all starts with the inner. So we help you curate that self-love. We we cultivate a sacred space mm -hmm. so that way when we have our one-on-one -on -one consultations, you're comfortable in sharing what is your most authentic truth that you want to share as far as how you feel when you look at yourself. Mm -hmm. What are you most fearful of, right? Yeah. Most of my clients, so that's what I lead with. Mm -hmm. And what they are most fearful of, that's what I'm going to put them in. Mm -hmm. Because what I want to do is show you your fears and then show you what you did afterwards. Show you facing your fears mm -hmm. and how that looks. Yeah. Because it's all about revealing that to yourself, what you've cultivated in your mind, what you're fearful of. Yeah. And once you can get past what you tell yourself, mm -hmm. right? the negative things that we say in our head about ourselves, mm -hmm. once we get past that and say, I am beautiful, yeah, I am, you know, worthy, I am a queen, mm -hmm. then you will show up as her. Say it. Come and on. And so that's what we do. Can that's I get an amen? I'm, I mean, I'm just sharing it with you. If y'all not clapping right now, you will be later on. Let's, let's just get a round of applause. You know what I'm let's just get a round of applause. Somebody pass the collection plate because this is the word right here. This is the word. But it Listen. is the truth. It, it is. is the truth. It is the most authentic truth. And so that's how we correlate the two when it comes to self-love and fashion. Mm -hmm. So when we work one-on-one -on -one with our clients, that's what we're building, a relationship. Yeah. yeah. It's not all about the money. It's not about, no, I want to be in your life and help guide you through yeah. this journey. And she so, does. I know for <laughs> she, she does. I, I'm, a, I, I'm a witness. She does. Okay. And it's phenomenal. That's why she's here oh. and in my life. And she's never, you're never, yeah, we're not going to go. Okay. But that is what it's about. It's about building, um, it's about building relationships, yeah. foundations. It's about breaking curses. Mm. 
right? Yeah. It's about casting out what was and stepping into what is. Yeah. And that's what we do at Session Boutique. It's more than just fashion. I pray over every piece before it is sent out. Because what I found is that every hand that touches it mm -hmm. has a connection, has a spirit, has an energy on it. Mm -hmm. I cancel it. Yeah. Because what I want is divine purpose to whoever it is that is receiving it. Yeah. So that way, not that, right? Mm -hmm. Not that it's the clothing that is going to illuminate, but when they put it on, it will help illuminate what's already inside of them. Yeah. To make them feel sexy, to make them feel worthy, to make them feel of value. Because you are. You are a queen and you have to walk with her. <laughs> and be sexy, sexy right with her. So let me tell you something. There is nothing wrong with a little sexy. It's not. It's not. Classy mm -hmm. is the new sexy. Hashtag that. Hashtag And follow that. it. Okay. Yeah, when you told me you were going, when I asked about the gala dress, yeah. and you were like, well, I have to pray over it. And I was just like, what? Yes. I've never heard of, like, yeah. you're going to pray. She Absolutely. said she pray over all her pieces. Ooh. And that is powerful. Absolutely. Because how did you feel when you put that dress on? Oh, girl, I feel like just my like you said my inner beauty was just it just came out just i came felt out. the dress just made me feel like the queen that i already Girl, okay. am and i don't i don't know who saw that picture of me walking across the room Girl. and that thigh was showing okay. and the thigh shoes, meat, the thigh meat guy the thigh me came out and all i did was i told her the color scheme yeah. And, you know, it's a formal gala. I'm the president. I'm the founder. So I need to be popular. Flawless. And when she brought it to me for me to try on, I almost didn't want to take it off. <laughs> I just kept texting her like, oh, my God, I feel like a queen. Yeah. Like, I need a crown. Like, this is just beautiful. I got so many compliments on that oh, dress. You like, are beautiful. Girl, even my ex told me. Oh, <laughs> wait a minute. We're going to cast that out. <laughs> So my, we, don't, we don't we don't bring in the exes. That's what we don't do. My, my ex told me, I love that dress. You look so beautiful in that dress. And okay. everybody was like, wants that dress. Wow. And I just kept Marie. Marie, like oh, shop session boutique. Shop. I tagged her in all the posts. And she is my stylist from now. So I, I just want to put that out there. Just more than just she's creative with the items that she picks out. But it's her connection to you as a person. And like she said, she likes to bring out the inner beauty. Yes. And that's important. It is. Because you, how many times you go in the store, you don't even think about stuff like that. You're not thinking about that. You're thinking about, okay, let me get this. It, well, let's just backtrack. Yeah. Depending on how you're fit. First of all, what do we do when we are upset Shop. with our spouse or whoever it is that we're with? Right? Retail therapy. I'm guilty. Retail. I'm so guilty. So, I'm we're, guilty. so we are already beating that energy drum of whatever it is that we're experiencing at that time. Mm -hmm. We're not thinking about no self-love. We're not thinking about none of that. We're thinking about, I'm going to wear this dress and be sexy as hell. Yep. That's exactly what I'm guilty. Right? I'm guilty. Right? I've done it before. <laughs> I've done it before. I'm guilty. <laughs> and so you have to realize that your thoughts turn into things. Yeah. And it attaches to things as well. So, yeah, you may have your get em girl dress on or outfit mm. on, but that's the energy that you're going to attract. Yeah. Which is fine if you're being intentional about whatever it is you're trying to do. But I'm yeah. just letting you know the power behind the words that we choose to speak mm. when it comes to how we dress and self-love and everything. Our yeah. thoughts turn into things. Yeah. And so you just have to be intentional in everything that you do. What would you, what kind of self-care tips or activities or things mm -hmm. that our viewers or people can do to take care of themselves? So a couple of things. You have to define what self-love is to you. Mm -hmm. uh, that's first and foremost. Um, by doing the things that make you feel good. If it's a walk in the park or if it's a massage or if it's a facial, you define what self-love is mm -hmm. for you. My tip to you is to lead uh allow yourself to be led with the happiness that is within like whatever makes you happy if it's art if it's painting right. whatever it looks like to you mm -hmm. and be intentional about it yeah um self-love for me is meditation mm -hmm. 
I say that. I, I, I meditate a lot because I like <clears throat> to clear my mind and clear and, and have a um, clear space to receive. Yeah. yeah. Um, medit uh, self love to me is listening to jazz music. Really? Really? I like um, yes. nature sounds. Yes, I love that. Person. I love just nice, soft melodies. Yeah. Um, I enjoy that. Um, Self-love tips continuously is to do it um, consistently mm -hmm. is a good thing mm -hmm. to do and, and mm -hmm. not apologize. Mm -hmm. Stop apologizing for taking care of yourself. For taking care of you. Yeah. I have two daughters. One is 17 and one is 15. Oof. And so... Teenage years, girl. <laughs> Let me tell you. Ooh, so you. for the mothers bless out there who know, that is so important to make sure that you get your you time in mm -hmm. and don't apologize for it. Yeah, and not feel guilty for it either. And absolutely. Yeah. And and um, gosh, I'm trying to think what else. I said my nails. Nails? I, yeah. I'm see, mine's is hair. I, mine's see, hair. She's see, hair. I'm, I'm nails. I'm, I'm hair. really bad. As I need to get this done again. Yes, she her <laughs> hair is always popping. Mine, my nails. Like when yeah. I go get my nails done, that yeah. is therapy for me. Her nails is off the chain right like, now. Me and my nail tech have a relationship, yeah. and it literally feels like therapy. I'm just sitting there like, see, yes. <laughs> see? I'm telling it's you, it's something for everybody. It it's is. something for everybody. Yeah, and you just have to find what works for you. Yeah. Um, I mean, I think to me, there's no right or wrong to when it comes to self love or self care. Yeah. I think yeah. it's just, even if it's just you sitting by yourself in a quiet space, that's mm -hmm. your moment. Yeah. And just owning it. Yeah. Just owning it. So owning that everything. that particular space. So, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's what I would say. Solid. That's a tip. That's a tip. So, earlier I gave them homework. Yeah. I give okay. homework on all of my videos. Okay. And the homework for this week is seven days mm -hmm. of some type of self care. Awesome. So, whether it's meditation, yes. yoga, um, sitting affirmations, in affirmations, you know, just w uh, walking, taking a walk in the park, shopping session boutique online, shopping session boutique. Look, I do that all day. <laughs> I just we're gonna add some more stuff, guys. So, by the time you see this, there'll be some extra stuff on there. But I'm, if you need a personal stylist and you have an event coming up, let me know. I'm so here today. <laughs> Got your cover. You know, I'm because, literally on it every day. I'm like, yeah. just okay, I want this one. And can you bring me this? Oh, can I have this yeah. one? What about this one? I like this dress. Like, I'm literally I don't I don't even go to the store no more. Absolutely. Like for what? He's so Why? Silly. And Why? another you know, another thing I want to make sure because I work full time. So mm -hmm. I work in healthcare and I do the boutique. Disconnecting is important. Mm -hmm. That is a self love care tip. Yeah. Disconnecting. Yeah. Disconnecting is good. I've done yeah. that before. And staycations. I'm all for staycations. staycations. Oh, plug. So in September, I am a part of the Women's Earth. Okay. Yes. Can I With that in? Jay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. I want to make sure. Yeah. And so um, I am a cohort for the Women's Earth for the Self Love Retreat Weekends, mm. which my um, my actual. Uh, event will be in September. It's called Fashion and Wellness. So make sure that you uh, sign in for your self-love weekend. We're going to talk about how to get the hour back in your glass. Uh, we're going to talk about health and wellness. I mean, we're going to do a live um, total transformation on one lucky person who is there. I'm, I'm claiming it. It's so going to be <laughs> it's going to be really I'm phenomenal right now. I'm yeah, claiming it. It's going to be, be really I'm nice. Uh, my mom is coming down. She um, is bringing some you, of mom. her hair units because she suffers from alopecia. So we're going to do education on that, on as far as our hair because that is our crown. Yes. And that's what we 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 love our crowns, right? Yeah. So we're going to speak crown talk in conversation. So we're excited about that. So. Join us again next week on June 6th, where we're going to start with my love story and some of the experiences that I've had being a celibate woman and how the whole process just ties into a better you. And that will come out next week on June 6th. So awesome. make sure you guys tune in. Make sure you guys also hit the subscribe button below. Yes. And thank you again for episode three of Motivation with me. Hey. Bye. See y'all later. Time. Bye, guys.